This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by Gorilla Glue. This is your science class on a permanent field trip. This is Joe Genius. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Joe Genius. I'm Jonah Ray, your Sherpa to the apex of backyard science. All right, today's episode is all about the law of conservation of matter. You might know it better as the fact that matter cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Get ready, because the transformation begins now. This first clip is all about the solid form of carbon dioxide, or dry ice, which is a crazy morphing substance. Unlike most solids, it doesn't melt into a liquid, but instead morphs directly into a gas, in a process called sublimation. Wow. But put this mighty morphin process under pressure, and you gotta hold on to your Power Rangers. It won't, it, it bulbs, bulges out. You see, when dry ice sublimates into a gas, all those carbon dioxide molecules fly apart, taking up a whole lot more space. And when you put the small cubes of dry ice in a sealed plastic bottle with some water, the warmth of the water makes the dry ice vaporize even faster. All that gas has nowhere to go, and as more and more gas fills the container, it pushes on the inside of the bottle until the container just can't take the pressure anymore. Car alarms going off in the name of science. Truly a beautiful thing. So we have this dry ice bomb, but what if we put it into something else? Like say, mm, I don't know, how about a microwave? Yeast. Imagine what would have happened if you actually turned that microwave on. All right, let's drop some real science here. We got massive morphing matter, dry ice. So why does it do what it does? The amazing thing is that the mass doesn't change. The whole blast of carbon dioxide gas weighs exactly the same as the little blocks of dry ice. The molecules have just rearranged, so now they can bang freely, like against the door of a microwave. I think this is a fine time to thank our sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, visit GorillaGlue.com or head to your local hardware store to check out all their amazing products for yourself. No Joe Genius Toolbox is complete without it. Okay, dry ice. As we've seen, it's good for explosions, but it can also be really cool without all the danger. Is that even possible, Jonah? Says the guy with the eye patch. Let's check in with Sam from Minnesota having some fun with a dry ice bubble. All you need is dry ice, water, a small cloth, and some dish soap. And there you go, you're banned from chat roulette. And you also have a really cool dry ice bubble. You too at home can make your very own dry ice bubble. All you're really gonna need to do is get a block of dry ice and put it in a bowl full of water, like thusly. And once that starts percolating, you're gonna need to get a one inch cloth and dip it in water and soap. And just get it really soaked in there. And then get the rim of the, the bowl or bucket you have soapy look at it and then you're gonna get the strip and just kind of glaze it over the rim of the bowl thusly and that should create your dry ice bubble it's my own little special baby look at him grow look at him go rise see it keeps it all there pressurized i want to see how big this thing's going to get a lot of those suckers online will just pop it themselves. They can't wait. They don't have patience like me. Now I'm getting scared. How big will this thing get? Hey! Hoppa! Now yeah, that's how you make a dry ice bubble. Super cooling hot ice. Sounds like something impossible, right? But you'd be oh so wrong, Buster Brown. These crazy sculptures might look icy cold, but if you touch them, they're as hot as a hand warmer. And here's how it happened. Ellen dissolves sodium acetate in water until the water was fully saturated. Then she puts the mixture in a fridge, creating a super cooled liquid, which means the sodium acetate mixture is in liquid form even though it's chilled below its freezing point. 
supercooled liquids crystallize instantly when touched by a metal dish, your finger, or anything else that lets the supercooled liquid morph into the solid that it's really always wanted to be. That's how Ellen makes her sculptures and frosty designs. When liquid sodium acetate crystallizes, it's an exothermic process. That means the energy needed for the reaction to happen is less than the energy released. And that extra energy makes Ellen's morphing monuments icy hot even as they freeze. It's weird science. Sticking with the winter theme, here's how you can make instant snow. Take five grams of sodium polyacrylate, then add 100 milliliters of water. Then sit back and watch the winter wonderland appear. It's beginning to look a lot like science, miss. Morphing matter is a blast, but sometimes things don't go as planned. We found Dave Henson getting pretty frustrated with his supercooling experiment. Supercooling is where you take purified water or distilled water, freeze it past, or chill it to past its freezing point. It remains a liquid as such, i.e. this. It's liquid, and then when you agitate it, like uh, so, it becomes. Let's turn it on. Oh, turn it. Whistler, lie to me. Well, it was a good try on your part, David. So don't worry. We're gonna give you the Joe Effort Award for all your hard work. It's kind of like getting an E for effort on your report card, oh, which is to say that you failed. You know what I feel like doing? Thanking our sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, visit GorillaGlue.com or head to your local hardware store to check out all their amazing products for yourself. No Joe Genius Toolbox is complete without it. Bad water. Bad. Why is it flashing? Ah, it's because it's not just water. It's a mixture of cornstarch and water. But if your water does look like that, please don't drink it. And if you have, consult a physician. But that's the thing about the mixture of cornstarch and water. It straddles the line between a liquid and a solid, morphing matter at its best. Ben Howard from Massachusetts knows that. He's up next, morphing together these elements to create some uh, weird little buddies. Non-Newtonian fluids, like the mixture of cornstarch and water, are made of solid particles suspended in liquid. They quickly morph between states depending on slight changes in pressure, squeezing, stomping, and vibrating will all do the trick. Just like this ooze, which turns solid when squeezed and drifts between your fingers when let go, this stuff also reacts to pressure from sound, like turning up the bass on your speaker. Ben got these creepy characters by combining cornstarch and water, sticking it on the speaker, and then turning up the noise. The creepiness continues when this Joe Genius creates a combination similar to what Ben did. But Sasha switches it up. He puts the mixture on a metal sheet with sound waves blasting underneath it. It looks kind of like an electric football game. I mean, if all the pieces melted. To make your own little creepy oobleks, what you're gonna need is two cups of cornstarch and one cup of water. You're gonna need to just pour these in together to make your own special non-Newtonian fluid, which is that delightful little fluid that's not really a solid, not really a liquid. Mix this together very well. And be careful, it's gonna get real messy. And we're gonna pour our non-Newtonian fluid in to the subwoofer. We're gonna turn on the bass, bring in the funk, and watch this guy dance. Let's see if he can win any hearts. DJ Billy, can you post that beat, please? Oh, yeah! So the sound waves from the bass amp are coming through and pushing and compressing these in weird ways. I shall name him Clarence. The non-Newtonian fluid doesn't really seem to know what to do, except for dance. And why wouldn't you? The pace is thumping. Watch him dance! If you stop the, if you, if you stop the sound, it just turns right back into a liquid and pours out. And that's what makes this stuff so cool. And back to you, Jonah. You look good today. <laughs> Thanks a lot, science version of me.
And now it's time for our coveted Joe Genius Award. And this show is all about morphing matter. And after a careful review of all the Joe Geniuses hard at work out there, our Joe Genius in this episode is, drum roll please. All right, stop it. Ellen with her sodium acetate experiment. This project certainly shows how cool transformation of matter can be. So there you have it, a basic principle of physics. Matter cannot be created or destroyed, but it is being transformed by Joe Geniuses from around the world. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Naray, the scientific community's idiot. This is Savant. See you next time. And if you keep on going for it, get enough soap and water in there, you'll create a monster. This is what he's going to kick the other ones' his ass. No, it's getting too big for its britches. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation. <laughs>